everything you need to know about pricing your products strategically on Amazon, including these three very important strategies that can help you increase your sales on Amazon. The first thing to do would be to subscribe to the channel as well as like this video and leave us a comment in the comment section below. And make sure that you check out our free masterclass training link in the description box of this video if you want to learn a little bit more about selling on Amazon in the Middle East. Inside of your Amazon listing, you're going to find three places where you need to add prices. You're going to find your price, the sale price and the recommended retail price or sometimes known as the list price depending on the category that you're selling in. The your price is the price that will show up to the Amazon customer and this is the most important price that you need to focus on. The sale price is if you want to discount the product which we will be talking about later on. This is where we add it and you've got your recommended retail price as well. Now, depending on what you're selling, you might find that Amazon has a different layout as to what you are seeing right now on the screen. But, you know, these are the things that Amazon will request from you. But what exactly is a list price? The recommended retail price or list price in some categories is one of the most mysterious prices in the listing. And it is somewhat confusing. If you read the criteria from Amazon, the recommended retail price is exactly that. What would be the selling price of this product if it was being sold on a different marketplace, on a different website, or even in a brick and mortar store in regular retail? The concept of this is to showcase to Amazon and to the Amazon customer that they are getting the product by purchasing it from Amazon at a really good price. That's why always add the recommended retail price or your list price to be higher than the actual price of what you will be selling your product for on Amazon. Not very high, but at about 20 to 30 percent higher than your current price that you are selling the product on Amazon. Now that you know everything, let's get started with the three most important strategies, starting with strategy number one, which is a discount price. I love discounts. I think everyone who purchases on Amazon loves discounts because when you discount your price as a seller, what's going to happen is you're going to find a very big strike through in the original price and then the sale price is going to pop up. This will be very intriguing for customers, whether they see it on your own product page or they see it on the search page of Amazon. It's very eye catching and I think it's something that is very interesting for sellers. Now for customers, uh, for sellers, not so much, but for customers, for sure. Now, uh, in order to create a sale price, you will need to actually enter the sale price, but you're also going to need to decide on a start date and an end date, which you need to apply inside of the listing page itself. With that being said, I would highly suggest that you discount your product for at least seven or maybe even 14 days so that you can measure the impact of that sale and so that it's not a very long period of time whereby you might be losing potential uh, revenue. Second is the limited time offer, which is also very eye catching because when you decide to enter a limited time offer, what's going to happen is you're going to see a huge box on the screen next to your price that says limited time offer, which is obviously very, very eye catching again. And those are the things that place you a little bit different than other sellers and might get customers to be interested to click on your product. In order to do a limited time offer, you will need to go into your deals page inside of your Amazon Seller Central and check if you are eligible and for which product and for what date, and then you can follow along. So the unfortunate thing is if you are recently selling on Amazon, this might not be something that is available to your account because Amazon do want to see some historical data before they allow you to do a limited time offer. So if you want to create a limited time offer, you will need to go into the advertising dashboard and then click on deals. Notice that the coupons, which we're going to be talking about, is also right here in the same dashboard. So let's click on deals. Once you click on deals, then if this is the first time you're creating a deal, this is the page that you're going to see. And then you can create a new deal and then select the product that you want to add into a certain deal. And lastly, coupon codes. So coupon codes are also a very cool way of adding some more interest for customers because they also show up as a green box 
on the page and the cool thing is a coupon is another way to add a layer of intrigue where customers can be interested to purchase your product and that small discount can get them to finally pull the trigger and purchase the product. Now, with that being said, when you create a coupon, you also need to decide on a start date and an end date. And like the sale, I would suggest that you do it for anywhere between 7 to 14 days so that you can measure its impact. And the other cool thing about coupons is that customers actually have to clip the coupon, meaning they have to click on it in order for it to be applied to their account. And you cannot believe the amount of people that forget to clip the coupon code but still end up purchasing the product which is absolutely wonderful. Now, when you create a coupon code, you have the option of either creating it as a percentage of or a certain amount of money off. Now, think about it this way. Um, it's more dependent on how the original price of the product is and what looks better. So if you're selling products at the lower end of the spectrum, somewhere between, let's say, 50 or 60 dirhams, it would look much more impressive if you say you're doing a percentage off, like 50% off, or maybe 50% is too much, like 10% off or 15% off looks like a much more a bigger amount of money. Whereas when you are selling a product that is at a higher price point, maybe setting up a certain uh, amount of dirhams off would be even more intriguing for a customer rather than saying, if you're selling a product for 250 dirhams and saying 10% off doesn't look as interesting as putting a certain amount of money off, like 25 dirhams off or something like that, looks like it's a bigger number than it actually is. If you want to learn step-by-step -step how to create a coupon code and even a little bit more information about limited time offers, I do suggest that you check out this video. I'll leave the link in the description box of this video. And speaking of videos, I'll see you in another video with more information. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.